possessions last week, including 13 marks. So quite away from that to start, but he's an explosive player. Second term, Friday night football. McAvoy hooks it down. Mazungo did nicely. Barlow in the back. No, play goes on. Well done by Ballantyne. Haven't called his name too often. Clark gave it across to Pavlich. They drive it forward down towards half forward. Off hands taken by Ibbotson. Over it comes to Pierce. Goes with the snap down towards full forward. Bounces wide of the mark of the home. Ballantyne's first touch, Dennis. So he had a Oh, very quiet opening term, obviously. He wasn't the only docker, though. There are a couple of big names got out, obviously, only the two possessions for St Kilda, Ballantyne, none at half-time. Hill only two, Pavlich only Hi, two. I guess when you look at it that way, there's some upside for the dockers, but they certainly need them firing. So, Ray, who kicked a goal in the opening term. And a solid season now. Oh, Clark got up high to the beauty. And then quickly gives to Mazungu, and Mazungu laces it out. That was a passage of play. Some athleticism, uh, hasn't he? Uh, he just can, uh, he can just jump. Uh, really, really big loop. Wow, that's raw, isn't it? That is such raw talent. He's on the mark. And then the quick give, and then the spearing pass to Maine. And we talked about Maine's set shots in the first term. He was 14-17 before tonight. Now he kicked the first. If he kicks this, this is a really good start. He's been keeping Goddard quiet. He's got it home and the Dockers have made a good start to the second quarter playing a really great team role it seems at the moment for Fremantle Dockers Chris Mayne that's now seven disposals two goals but more importantly Brennan Goddard only the two possessions so he's that good defensive forward is obviously good on the app also but good defensive forward where he can draw the ball himself and play a defensive role on one of the premier players in the competition. Just a leap at the footy. It's interesting that Maine ended up being positioned against Goddard, probably where he lost. Isn't that that's a terrific? Just the number of players that are jumping for the fo at the footy oh, from yeah. the back position. Great part of our game currently. Every week we see a Specky. The Specky is back. The hair combining in the middle there, Clark. Mazungu kicks it down towards half forward, swooping on the football, Johnson. Clark, Pavlich, slips a hand pass away. Nicely done. Subin's a long kick. He sends it down towards full forward. Main feeling it. Knocked away by Goddard. It's out of bounds. That's courageous by that young man. Badly cut open earlier. Came back on the ground immediately. Going back with the flight of the ball. Showed what he's made of. And now... Has both their goals. Goddard's got his hands full. McPhee hooks it down. Johnson, nonchalant. How will it roll? Well, set up nicely for Goddard. Lays it off. Dempster left it behind. Pierce tries to crash his way through. Waiting was Gilbert with strength. Gilbert oh, just clipped on the way through by McPhee. Goddard not happy. Goes after McPhee. That's ordinary by McPhee. Take the ball. McPhee's the target, well and truly. So he should be. They're not happy. No. They are not happy. It all happened so quickly. I think we're all anxious to see a replay to I me. Mean, just exactly what did make them unhappy. Meanwhile, back at the game, the ball bounces out of bounds. You reported for striking. You reported for striking. Oh, Why yeah, the arm away from the body. Why wouldn't you tackle Lee in that situation? He's got, well, he's got yeah. possession of the ball. The rules say, particularly these days, you tackle, you don't bump if they've got the footy. Well, he was almost undressed as well there, Andrew McPhee. Or Adam McPhee, rather. Out against the boundary line. The kick comes onto the chest of Grover. Came from Fisher. Grover sends it back to half forward. Suddenly, this game is livened up. Short run from Johnson finds Maine. He's found Maine. You see Adam McPhee on screen there. Goddard, his direct opponent, has actually come off the ground, so Maine was able to get free. But on that occasion with McPhee, I just don't understand why you wouldn't put the tackle on. Deserve the remonstration that St Kilda players showed. That is just... Well, it means you're going to get a, uh, two or three weeks for your trouble for that one, you think. What do they say? Unless you're in jail, never fight naked. Here's Maine. 25 metres out. McPhee needs a new jumper. And this one is swung away to the left-hand side. 
That wasn't a good kick. His previous two much better. Behind. Suddenly that scoreboard looks a lot more even though, doesn't it? Yeah. A few well, shots as well. Had a good patch now the last five minutes uh, or so. Lee, I reckon we started with Clark in the middle too. I mean, he's been getting yeah. his hands on yeah. him. I know the Fremantle hierarchy really been impressed with his development. Spent about four years on the list and really starting to fulfil some of the potential. So McAvoy, Clark did well there. And then maybe if it's oh. a bit unlucky, Saints get it out, Montagna. But they've been challenged for really the first time in the match. Five should take it, he does. What a great reach, hasn't he? Do what he does. Arm, stretches up, reads the drop, drop of the yeah. zone, the drop of the ball. Good so. player, isn't he? Good player. We're talking to him at halftime too. It's a great interview. Looking forward to it. Bangs it for good mark taken by Polo. So Polo to Montagna. Main runs him down. Peak waits for it. Now Ballantyne will be a worry here. Pushes Peak over, and then Broughton hooks back, and Ibbotson's going to put them within a kick. Well, about six minutes into the quarter, and the ball's basically the game's basically been played in Fremantle's uh, forward half for the first part of this quarter. Meters against you. We're having a contact. Sure. So, a 50 metre penalty here. You're well up. Off against the board, the guy for strike, men. Pull the blokes together and just play the full one. Listen to me. I don't know what it was for. Okay. A contact. Yeah, I didn't so, play it. So, you heard the umpire pull them together. Just run at the we'll floor, reported him. Okay. Let's play the ball. Well, don't put yourself in a position to... Free kicks are going easy at the moment if you want them. Refocus, mate. <laughs> Come on, lads, focus at the footy. Let's focus at the footy. It's interesting, umpires trying to control the game, which is part of their function out there. It's not only playing free kicks, it's trying to control the contest when uh, when both, uh, both teams are getting a little bit hot, hot and heated at the moment. Just see there's obviously a bit of heat in that forward line for Fremantle at the moment. Well, since McPhee did what he did, it seems to be a spark about Fremantle. Not suggesting that's the way to go as Hill sweeps a hand pass out wide to Ballantyne. Ballantyne runs forward of the wing and the mark is taken down there by Lower. Lays it off to Ballantyne, runs inside the 50, sends it long down towards full forward. Going back is Clark, he'll get the free. This game has turned on its head. Goal has been kicked by Barlow. Took the advantage. Runs back past the dishevelled McPhee. <laughs> Who was a talisman in all of this? Well, we talk about the advantage rule. That time it worked. Uh, Barlow was under pressure, but he had the snap at goal. We'll just see the delivery here. Clark had the sit. Would have got the free kick. And he had a go, played on, kicked the goal. All of us think... I think it's bad policy. I think most clubs are saying you get a, a teammate gets a free kick in the forward 50. You're going easy at the moment if you want him. Refocus, mate. Come on, let's focus at the footy. Let's focus at the footy. Fascinating stuff. I mean, basic free kicks will be easy to yeah. get right now if you play the footy. So I'm don't hear that my, often, do you? I'm just getting my shoes off, Chris. Oh, <laughs> well, what a five minutes of football we've seen. I mean, maybe it was Clark. I know the McPhee uh, incident, but the Clark mark also turned this match, didn't it, when they were able to get that goal. So Jones wide, the Dockers are in front, which is a huge surprise. Kaczynski, 65 metres from goal. Goes with a long, low one. Schneider did everything to try and take the mark. Stephen works hard. Goddard, good bloke to give it to. And this is even better, because Milne's got it within 10 metres of goal. Plays on, gets his second. The Saints back in front. Definitely needed that one secure a loss there. I guess what lost their stability in their back line and obviously started with the McPhee. Uh, elbow charge, whatever you want to call it, and they just needed, needed to stabilise. Got the ball in, obviously, Goddard's hand. Interesting to see that uh, Goddard has been playing in the back line. Perhaps it's time now to run him through the middle. He's in the middle of the ground right now, actually. And uh, perhaps it was an experiment to see whether he could play a defensive key role, but the best players in the middle. 
Really crafty work there from Stephen Milne. Got behind Grover, but it was started by the kick-in from Goddard. Goddard's been playing a defensive role on main or perhaps the other way around, but been playing in the St Kilda back line, but in through the middle of the ground, right in the guts now. So suddenly a lacklustre game has caught fire. Goddard storms through the middle, sends the Saints inside their forward 50. Oh, great defensive work, McFarlane gets it across to Broughton. Broughton drives to the outer side, drifting back. Ballantyne favoured by the bounce. Coming hard was Armitage. Claims he didn't take him high. No damage done. Ballantyne wants to go. He's suddenly fighting the football. Goes down to Bradley. Sweeps it out wide. Pierce hard against the boundary line. Kicks inside the forward 50. Clark was under the football. The judgment shown by Gilbert. And the courage too. Across the face of goal. Del Santo controls it nicely. Releases Fisher. Fisher drives towards midfield. Needs Kaczynski to run for him. He's got the football, he just gets away. Well done by Jones, rebuild again the target. All numbers back for the Dockers. This is Grover, peeling off in the opposite pocket. Broughton decides to go up the middle. Pavlich in space, plays on immediately from half-back. Kicks it long, high ball. One out contest, there's going to be a free kick and it's going to Johnson. Which is a penetrating kick by Pavlich, wasn't it? Just when you take your eyes off the ball, he put his eyes firmly at the chest of Johnson. Nothing malicious, but it's the indicator for the umpires to make the decision. Good. Took about two different quarters in footy. I mean, this has been fantastic after a very flat opening turn. So Johnson with a big kick here. Probably not quite going to get there. And McAvoy, who's... And the top four contested marks in the comp decided it was too close to the line. I'll build it over. He's good at that too. The Ruckman getting back onto the full-back line, just making sure it goes through for a rush behind. So Fisher to Jones. t was revealing a moment ago, Jones is pace on Hill. Hill couldn't actually get to him. Now, Schneider, clever to Ray. Now, Ray looks up. He's got a paddock, so he's going to have to lower his sights. Armitage, he's in trouble. Oh, no, he got, right. he got the free kick from the back. Del Santo on the burst. Now he's a good kick, Del Santo. Gives Cozzy every chance. Oh. Peak, maybe it was for Peak. Cozzy in the front spot. Then Peak keeps his balance. Stephen, well played. This will be a goal. No, it's not. It would have been a good one. Just rushed it. He did all the hard work to get himself into space and clear and running back in towards the centre corridor. Just another couple of steps to get balance. He would have made, uh, made a goal out of that. Saw Ross Lyon just there. Won seven out of that against Frio. And four out of four here at Etihad to the other side. Goddard finding the football. Getting busy. They've been challenged here. Del Santo back to Goddard. Plays it in short. Polo. Former Tiger. Back he comes. Montagna inside the full of 50 all Fremantle. Gordon. Fifth in the best and fairest last season. Eighth the season before. Mature age rookie from Subiaco in Western Australia. He's been a very good pickup. In three oh, Waffle done. Premierships, Dennis. Yeah, with Subiaco. This is Duffield. Just lobs it over the top. Broughton again. I like the ball in his hands, and that's why Barlow, so much of the ball in his hands, sends it to midfield, taken by Lower. He's away. Checks. Now he sends for space and finds Fife. Demanded something of Fife, and Fife got across to take the mark. Man on the mark is 52 metres out. Now Johnson calling for the football. Deeper is Main. Main is one out with Clark, but he's got a couple in front of him. Got a bit of length in his kick. He's going to have to kick it from 55 metres, but the ball normally carries pretty well indoors indoors here at Eddie Head. Model of consistency this season. Three games with 30 or more possessions. This one falls short, so... That's a hole. There's a hole there, yeah. It's going oh, yeah. Frio's way. Straight away. Straight away. Good, good look at this one. So Johnson, sharpish angle, but he can work the angle and come around to his right. Yeah. Just, just wait. Just wait. 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 One, two, three. Back here. Back. Not that. Wait. Stay there. Stay there. Play on. That's how it's done. Well done by Johnson. And Frio defying the odds. 
Yeah, we'll get a good look at this this free kick at some stage. It was a, it was a hold that was unnecessary. It was a mongrel kick, yeah. if you like, from Nathan Fife. And uh, which is so often the case, the player who plays in front, which on this occasion was a St Kilda player, took the mark. But uh, I think it might have been Fisher just a little overzealous on Johnson. Felt like he needed to keep him under check as a reaction to the mongrel punt kick. Gave away the free kick. We'll have a look at this. It's just, uh, you can see Goddard is just trying to keep Johnson from actually getting to the St Kilda player. Probably free. So out of the centre, Maines long ball forward. McPhee got underneath it. Ray, tackle from Hinkley. Ibbotson did well not to give the free on Dempster there because he was down low. Docker's back in front here. It's been a remarkable turnaround. St Kilda dominating the opening quarter. 11 scoring shots to four. Lee, just with Goddard, do you think he's obviously been spending time in the back line for St Kilda? Do you put him into the midfield, release that defensive role? Well, I think so. I mean, the way the game's going, and Maine's doing the job pretty well. I think Goddard's just getting a little bit stressed by it all, so get him out of defence, let him play around the midfield. Tio Tio Clark's dominating in the centre of oh, the bounces. He's getting so high. Jones, good tackle. Gilbert left footer, so he had a bit of a problem. Polo, Montagna, Gamble... And right now, the Dockers are matching the Saints in the contested ball. They're matching them everywhere, and we feel like it's a real game now. Well, that's their go, Bruce. They're a contested possession side, and the Saints got well on top in the first quarter. So if you're a bit of a one-trick pony, you've got to make sure you get that exactly right. That's what Frio have done. Kazetsky gets it out. Stephen stripped of it. Pavlich goes to ground. Got boot to ball. ball Took too long. Too long. Good stiff there. Quick too thinking long. by Pavlich. Jones plays on immediately. Del Santa goes across the ground. Ray, such a handy player. Ray, although he kicks into the oncoming McFarlane. McFarlane's been terrific. Kozetsky fell over, but not before he gave it to Graham. Question of accuracy. And Graham puts one through. Certainly a real contest now, no doubt about that. The contested possessions have evened up, the clearances have evened up after being a dominant in St Kilda's fashion in the uh, in the first quarter. And the one thing St Kilda are doing well, I think, through uh, through Ray and a little bit through Peak and a little bit through Graham, when they need to spread into space, uh, they're doing that pretty well to make the most of when they do get the footy at halfback. So this was the holding the ball against Pavlich. He had it a while, threw it down on yeah. his boot. But So four lead changes in the last ten minutes now. It's almost a shootout at this very minute. So Saints back in front. McAvoy wins a good tap. Montagna a good clearance. Revolt trying to get away from Subin. Now McFarlane revolts opponent. Has to get down. Kaczynski puts some pressure on him. And the ball's out of play. So, good result for the Saints. It's great vision there. You saw it was three on one Fremantle players on the St Kilda captain. Subin was the one who was actually having the one on one body pressure, which enabled McFarlane, probably the more creative defender, to cut off the space. Just had an awkward bounce, didn't he? So, Clark again getting his hand, but McAvoy roves it. It's play on, obviously. Well done, Subin. Gets Ooh. well. Did he get a handball away? Barlow wants a free. Jim Mazungu was good in close. So was Ibbotson to Clark. Such an influence, Clark, in this quarter. Back to Subin, to a one-on-one. -on -one. McPhee worked out of it by uh, Gilbert. And then Fisher bundled over it. And then Peek at a boundary throw-in. McPhee was reported for striking Robert Harvey five years ago and got a match. I reckon the Saints fans have got long memories. <laughs> They're not going to let him forget that all tonight. Boundary throw-in. McAvoy. Clark wins again. Stolen by Montagna. Immediately taken down by Ibbotson. Burrowing through Schneider, there's Clark again, Barlow, another possession, back to Pavlich, he's up and running now, Pavlich, storming downward, centre half forward, long ball, going back is Bradley, held back across the line by Blake, it's a behind. Sam Fisher to bring it in, short to Blake, nobody near him, very 
short to Clark, not pay the mark. He's got plenty of support around him. Comes back to Blake, untidy hand pass. Hill, he's been quiet. Get the cross towards support. Pierce gave it to Lower. Loose ball, trying to crash his way through Gamble. It was, it paid off though. He gave it across towards Blake. He in turn went looking for Armitage. He was tackled. Lower comes back. Johnson's got it. Looks towards the middle, needs to be precise. And that was weaving about that football, but marked well by Grover. And now 50. It's gone against that man, Nick Revolt, who's had a quiet night so far. Just the five possessions. There's Nick into the protected zone. He was trying to do a Yui, but it was a bit late. Whoops. Meantime, the beneficiary of that is Grover. Doesn't kick too many goals and gets this one for the veteran. It's a typical Beckman's goal, that one. You get the ball across the centre and get the free kick and mongrel it through. I was, uh, did that plenty of times. Plenty? <laughs> What's plenty? Plenty. Twice as plenty for a defender, isn't it, Dennis? Yeah, good pick up. Thank you very much. I got a bit carried away <laughs> with all of that. But it was, uh, you could see Nick... 13, <laughs> keep, keep uh, 12, 12. 12, sorry. Oops. You could see Nick Revolt obviously knew straight away they did the wrong thing and uh, uh, Anthony Grover, the beneficiary. Plenty. In the last five minutes of play, Mark Harvey's been doing a Goddard with Pavlic now. Fisher had him under control, but he's going from the midfield now, Pavlic, to half back, and that's really freed him up and been able to give Fremantle some drive. So the lead changes for the fifth time in this quarter. McAvoy, well done to Goddard. Got it to Ray. Got it to uh, Fisher forward. Mill used his body well. Silvani under the pump and then peaked it very well to Armitage. It can't quite break through. So that last tackle so important. Good contest. Hill did a good job. Jones weaves to gamble to revolt. Does it stay in? I don't know. It doesn't get near staying in in the end. He's got a magnificent record, Ross Lyon, against non-Victorian teams at this venue. He's uh, only been beaten once, and that's by the Eagles, when you look at that equation. He's being challenged at the moment. In short to McFarlane. So McFarlane up from the back pocket. Been very good. Unobtrusive, but very good. Sends it high towards the wing. McAvoy almost off his hands. Arriving at speed was Ballantyne. Down goes Clark. Ball just trickles out. Well, not far enough for the umpire's satisfaction. Ball up. This has been impressive, Clark. For the uh, you know Fremantle don't get a lot of big exposed games, particularly in the eastern states. He's been uh, outstanding. Well, a basketballer. You can see why he's got that build. He's even got the haircut. Opportunity for Fisher improvising there. Graham smothered off the boot by Hill on his knees. Bradley Fife does well across to Hill. Gains about five metres. Del Santo. Trying to go without the football was Hill. In goes Pavlich. Strong tackle on Armitage. Holding the ball, says the umpire. Well, they were working in a tight situation there. Umpire, no compassion. Short one. Hinkley gets it across to Subin. Long ball. Up they go. Main hands to it. McPhee. Oh, the crowd won't like this. <laughs> Probably expecting a bit more of a vehement response from the <laughs> yes. supporters. They're, they're certainly quite uh, happy to come through the middle of the ground, uh, Fremantle, and drive the ball long and deep. Try and just create a contest under the footy and hope that you can you can kick a crumb and goal. I think they realise that kicking to leading players against the St Kilda defence is very difficult. They block the spaces really well, so they're quite happy to go deep over the top. Here's the turnover here and the free kick to Pavlich it was for holding the ball. And it was Nick Subin who drove the ball in. He's had eight possessions. Three of those have been long inside 50s. Inclusion to come into the side. And he's been really influential. So they get a little breathing space suddenly. The Dockers, six second quarter goals. That just doesn't happen against the Saints. When you're from out of Melbourne. Ibbotson had it. Smothered on the way through. Dempster to Graham. Good kick. 
Armitage in the forward half and then keeps it to Revolt. Good kick and a good mark. This will be revealing, won't it? Revolt having a set shot from about 45 metres on a 45 degree angle. Do they, his teammates know where Revolt's going and he knows as soon as they turn, he leads on to their dominant, uh, dominant leg here. We just see as soon as he turns Armitage, he knows that Rewald's gone into the space where he can just drop that little short pass in. If I was calling 10, year, ten years ago, I'd say Kerry had kicked this. And the sort of goals that the big forwards yeah. need to hammer home. So he's had a couple of shots, the champ, and he's missed them. They've been a hard team to score against uh, St Kilda. I think in the last five weeks, the average is about 52 points, helped obviously by the pros, but... Only one team's really got above 60 in the last five weeks, and yet the Dockers are up to 49 now. Well, on the form ladder, Bruce, over the past four weeks, they're actually the number one team in the competition. They've had a few comfortable wins, obviously, but their Saints footy they talk about is starting to get a bit of momentum, but certainly okay. testing at the moment. Kozetsky, strong mark from the Pavlich kick. Got out, awkward bounce, still plenty of time to recover. Goes inside the forward 50, but the drop of the ball, Pavlich again. This will be a mark. He punched it with two fists, then he caught it. It's a mark. Goes in short. Blake, not a good kick by Pavlich coming out. Graham, such a good kick, Graham. Didn't have to prove much there, goes back to Clark. But Fremantle, you've got to admire their grip. They've come out to play tonight, slow start. They've had some telling victories this year against the odds. So many players injured, including 1-2 in their best and fairest last year. Mundy and Sandilands, and quite a few other very handy players, some of them long-term injuries that started before the season did. Here's Morabito. I mean, I was thinking of Morabito. Here's Fisher. Goes out very wide, and the mark is taken by Revolt. Over the top it goes. Montagna into space. Awkward landing. Now he pulls it back. That's a clever kick. Schneider should have marked it. Didn't. Opportunity for Hinckley, picked up again by Montagna. This time bounces it in the direction of Del Santo. Del Santo snaps. Oh, that's a wonderful goal under pressure. As soon as he came inside on his uh, on towards his left foot, Del Santo, you thought he's a good chance of kicking this. And the man on the mark almost almost was there to smother the kick, so he knew he had to kick it really high to get over the top of the Fremantle player coming at him, but he had the skill, he had the execution in the thought process to kick a really good goal. Montagna's second effort important there too. He did really well to get forward a couple of times. Good inside. This was really interesting. He just saw all of a sudden he had to kick it high to get it over the top of the Fremantle player coming from the front. Pavlich, really good effort, that. Very skillful player, Del Santo. Having a magnificent season, isn't he, Del Santo? His last ten weeks have been fabulous. Thanks, lads. Straight up. Pavlich has really lifted in the second term. He just wasted a couple of balls, even that last one when he took the mark. Coughed it up, but he's certainly having an impact. So who's going to lead at half-time? We've had five changes in the lead. Subin, well done, Montagna. High tackle there, not rewarded to Ibbotson. Ball out the back. Pavlich again doing well. Got down low. Mazungu, Clark. Tom's talked about his influence. And then uh, Broughton all over the top of Jones. Not sure who's got this. Nobody at the moment. Subin trying to come out. What are we not sure where there's a football in there, Bruce? All of this is a lot of bodies. Lee, just a question with our notice. What would be the messages to the respective sides at this stage? I think it's a bit of perseverance, really. I mean, they've, they've got themselves back in the game, Fremantle, but I don't think either side has to panic from what their pre-game pre plans would have been. Clark did well, hooked it down into the path of Blair, and an unkind bounce, whistle, and it's going to be a Fremantle three. Came in with the knees, said the umpire, on lower. Not sure who he was picking on. Watch it again. Oh. In Montagna over the top. Here's Subin. Goes down towards the pocket. Stretching Johnson. Well done by Blake. Put the body in. Well stopped effectively by Johnson. Johnson comes again. Tries to get it back to the middle. Blake again did brilliantly. Gilbert dancing around on his toes. Armitage. Five half chance.
Can't keep it in, it's out of bounds. Great efforts there from Johnson, it was. He flew for the ball, followed up exceptionally well and stayed involved and was able to keep the ball inside their forward 50 for another potential scoring foray. What a terrific quarter it's been. Three points the margin, 3-0 on top. Throw it inside the 50. Kaczynski was up high, won it down. Fisher, Kaczynski, Fife though, sends it towards full forward, touched. Blake coming up, panicked a little. On his knees, Clark flicks it over the top. Graham, cool head to Dempster. Downfield. So against Fife down the ground. Revolt quickly on, Duffield closing. Gee, that's a good mark by Kaczynski. Oh, that's, uh, oh, that is so soft. He can't do a whole lot. He, he got there to spoil Duffield, but I think as soon as he held on for a little bit, that's always going to be a 50-metre penalty, the way I understand the current interpretations of those kind of what you can do. Just the hold on, stops him playing on. He almost got there for the spoil, but then went around the ball. He just, just needed to hold on. But he, he held on in the claim, really. And so, Cosio kicked really the goal in the opening that. term. He's done well. This is his fourth consecutive game. First time this season he's actually had a month of footy together. That's a lovely kick. Oh. So, Cosie's kicked two, and the Saints are back in front. To so real assuredness, the way he went back and kicked the goal, it was probably in contrast, to be fair, to, to Nicky. Took the mark, got the 50-metre penalty, and never looked like missing. Had some real confidence and purpose the way he went forward and kicked the goal. They are big penalties, aren't they, the 50 metres? The old crime and penalty situation. I mean, again, I think that that is the kind of thing will pay, be paid a 50-metre penalty, but it takes you from uh, 80 metres to goal to well inside kicking distance. Uh, it's a big penalty for that very slight time-wasting offence. Beautiful technique. And this is really just how you draw it up. Two sides battling for a spot in the eight. Going at it toe-to-toe -to -toe in all respects. The margin is three points. Another lead change. St Kilda on top. Approaching half-time. Not a big crowd, but they're in voice. Goddard left it behind. Stephen helped himself to it. Down towards half-forward. Here's Mill. Got into his spin early. McFarlane met him at the ball. They battle after it. It rolls out of there. And the umpire a quick whistle. So a bounce about 52 metres out. Just over a minute till half-time. Bruce asked the question, who will lead at halftime? That's still not determined. Montagna free kick. Montagna free. Oh, this might do it, though. Montagna gets a free. He's a long kick. He's about 55 metres out. He just kicks it out wide for the big guy, McAvoy. So McAvoy, he's lowered his colours tonight to the leaping Clark. Zach Clark, not to be confused with... A famous Fremantle identity in football, Jack Clark, four times All-Australian, but he's Fremantle. Now, that's the education part of being a young ruckman coming from a basketball background. They're at, together at the stoppage, McAvoy just ducking out the back and getting away from the young player, Clark. McAvoy's kick. Well, that was the chance. Silvani launches himself from behind. Could have been a hand on the shoulder there, off hands, through for a minor score. So, four goals fired from set shots to Saints tonight. Just a few. So, it looks like they'll be in front at halftime. It's been a fantastic second quarter. The highlight, the Clark mark. So, back Silvani. Subin building forward. Fife back to Blake. Back to Jones. And then Jones conceding to Clark. So, the Saints lead by four points at half-time, but the Dockers managed to kick six goals. McPhee's been reported. Dalcedo was an important goal, wasn't it, at centre-half forward. Fife, hearing from him at half-time, he's had some moments. Main with a couple of goals, Cosy with a couple of goals. Nick Revolts had a couple of chances. He had a fair bit of the ball. Main's been gutsy. Done a good job on Goddard and kicked a couple as well. So, at... Half time here. Now, Matthew Pavlich is about to chat to Tim Watson. Down to you, Tim. Well, Pavlich, much better second quarter. What was the message at quarter time? Oh, look, to keep, keep playing the game on. Um, we turned a fair bit of the footy over coming out of the half back line as we went in that first quarter. But you know, I thought the endeavour was there, the effort was there. If we kept taking the risk, um, you know, we're going to get through their zone that they try to set up. The message was it about playing a lot more physical game, too? 
Yeah, certainly. I mean, we're looking to, as best as possible, play um, you know one on one, not allow them to get as many free players in their back line as they can. That's where that they play and they like to set up. So if we can uh, deny that, deny them that as best as we can, and uh, as you said, win that half footy gives us a chance. Good luck in the second half. Thanks, Tim. Terrific stuff there from Pavlich with Tim. So half time, Friday night footy. It's 7-11 to 7-7. We've got a great game here.